dear learners, welcome to the Learn From Home program by Supplementary Volunteer Teachers Organization. So today, in this session, we will learn about process of heating of the atmosphere from chapter 2. Within this topic, we will learn mainly about the three processes of heating of the atmosphere that is radiation, conduction and convection. As we all know that the sun is the main source of heat and energy on the earth's surface like we have studied in the previous session that uh, the sun gives 100% of incoming solar radiation all of which 34 plus 6% that is total 40% is reflected back by the earth's surface and the earth's atmosphere whereas the 19 percentage of the incoming solar radiation is directly absorbed by the atmosphere or the gases that are present in the atmosphere absorbs the 19 percentage of the incoming solar radiation as a result of which 47 percentage of the incoming solar radiation directly reaches to the earth surface so this incoming solar radiation in the form of energy transfers from one layer of the one layer of the atmosphere to the another layer of the atmosphere by three processes that is radiation conduction and convection so now we will learn about the first process of heating of the earth's atmosphere that is radiation so let's understand what is radiation radiation is the process by which heat waves are sent out by the earth's surface let me repeat again radiation is the process by which heat waves are sent out by the earth's surface okay let me clarify this with the help of a diagram if this is our earth and if this is the sun sun gives heat to the earth that is the incoming solar radiation as a result of which when the heat is transferred by the sun to the earth then the outermost layer of the earth gets heated up so when the outermost layer of the earth gets heated up then this heated earth slowly starts radiating slowly starts radiating when the earth starts radiating heat then the lowermost layer of the atmosphere that is close to the earth that means the lowermost layer of the atmosphere that is close to the earth starts heating up. This process by which the heat waves are sent out by the earth's surface that is responsible for heating the lowermost layer of the atmosphere is called as radiation. The second process of heating of the earth's atmosphere is Conduction. So let's learn what is conduction. Conduction is the process by which heat is transferred by contact. Conduction is the process by which heat is transferred by contact. Okay, let me uh, help you all understand with the help of a diagram. If this is the sun and if this is our earth. The incoming solar radiation hits off the earth's surface and the lowermost layer of the atmosphere by the process of radiation. So when this lowermost layer of the atmosphere gets heated up, at that time the hot air, that means the hot air, the lowermost layer is heated up and the heated air is hot air and this hot air moves upward this hot air moves upward so when the hot air moves upward at the time the air that are present in the atmosphere in the upper layers gets heated up gets heated up 
as a result in this layer also there will be the presence of hot air due to the conduction of the heating of the earth's atmosphere then that air again moves upward in the atmosphere and heats of the air that is present in this layer of the atmosphere then again this air goes upward and tries to heat up the air that is present in the upper layer of the atmosphere so this process by which the heat is transferred from one layer of the atmosphere to the another layer or this is the process by which the heat is transferred from lower layer of the atmosphere to the upper layer of the atmosphere this process is called as conduction the third process of heating of the earth's atmosphere is convection so let's learn what is convection convection is the process of transfer of heat by the movement of heated substance from one place to another place let me repeat convection is the process by which transfer of heat by the movement of heated substance from one place to another place this process is called convection so let me uh, illustrate this with the help of a diagram if this is sun and if this is earth the sun gives heat and energy in the form of incoming solar radiation that hits of the lowermost layer of the earth and the earth surface by the process of uh, radiation and conduction uh, before i explain this uh, you should keep in your mind that hot air has the tendency to expand and this hot air is light air as a result of which this hot air always has the tendency to move upward in the atmosphere so when this hot air moves upward see the movement of the heated substance that is the air is taking place as a result of which the hot air is moving upward so when the hot air moves upward at the time this hot air enters into the areas in the upper layer of the atmosphere where there is the presence of the cold air as a result of which this hot air tries to make this cold air hot so this process by which the hot air tries to make the cold air hot by the transfer of heat this process is called as convection so just now we studied about the three processes of heating of the atmosphere that is radiation conduction and convection radiation is the process by which heat waves are sent out from the earth's surface Conduction is the process by which heat is transferred by contact. Convection is the process by which heat is transferred by the movement of the heated substance from one place to another place. So now let me help you all understand these three processes with the help of some examples. Like for example, if this is a burning fire if this is a burning fire and if you are standing over here so if you are standing here and the fire is burning over here at that time this fire will send off the heat or radiate the heat that reaches to you this is radiation and take an iron rod and place one end of the iron rod in the fire and hold another end with your hand at the time this end of the iron rod gets heated up and slowly this heat transfers from one end of the iron to the other end 
as a result when you are holding you start feeling hot or due to the transfer of the heat from one end of the iron to the another end this process is called conduction and convection like in the same fire now you place a hand few meters above this fire as soon as you place a hand you don't feel hot you don't feel the warmth of the fire but slowly when this hot air rises upward or this heated air moves upward then at a point it reaches to the place where you are holding the hand and this heated air makes the cold air that is present here in the upper layer also hot and slowly you start feeling hot in your hand and this can be considered as the example of convection so my dear learners i hope you have understood this three processes of heating of the atmosphere hope to see you all in the next class stay safe stay learning thank you